Good morning. We're about 11, well, we're 11 days out, 10 days out till I move, or I go to Austin um, to stay at my sister's for the evening, and then 11 days out uh, to the show. So I haven't been posting too much, haven't been talking too much really to anybody because I just don't feel good. <laughs> but um, decided yesterday that probably I don't know if fasted cardio is going to work or all the cardio before I go and work out is really going to work out for me this week so I'm considering doing my cardio after I eat breakfast at the gym after my workout and then having my run it in the evening also so uh, just not I don't feel good but I'm tired I'm just mostly tired I added up my calories and they're pretty low so it it makes sense that I would be tired and that I wouldn't feel good but um, anyway just gotta push through we've only got 11 more days so we'll be good I hope you guys are doing well bye So here's what's weird is that I've been like doing like training and dieting and training and dieting um, for I mean over two years for this show <laughs> but the biggest differences have happened in the last month I'm not kidding like truly it's it's amazing how quickly not that the fat drops off but how fast it just the the differences show up and I know that I'm getting leaner I can see it my face is definitely I mean you can definitely tell that it's that I'm getting leaner and a lot of that I'm sure is dropping water too um, but it's crazy god I don't and and the thing is is that those of you guys who do this and still hold down a job like a real one where you're not at home because I'm at home a lot I do meals and cakes and stuff from my home um, and so I'm able to if I need to sit down for a little while I can those of you guys who are up and about and having to move around a lot and like go from place to place and do all that stuff I don't know I don't know that I could do it I mean this one this and my coach has told me before uh, he said this will be your hardest prep because you'll not have ever uh, have as much fat as you have right now and so if this is my hardest prep then I'll be happy with that like I, I will be happy not to ever have to work this incredibly hard ever again the two hours of cardio I mean my feet hurt like my feet hurt my legs hurt my back hurts everything hurts everything is sore um, and I'm not just whining because I'm not a whiner but no joke like this is a, a toll for sure I'm excited about it because I can see the differences um, but man it's kicking my ass it's kicking my ass right now I'm so fatigued I just want to sleep I don't even I mean the food is all well and good and you know I get hungry every now and again but it's almost to where now I just want to sleep I just want to go to sleep and take naps <laughs> so anyway um, uh, I've uh, found a fish that I really liked. It's a white fish. Um, and right now I've got uh, one meal of chicken. Um, 120 grams. It's my second meal of the day. And then the rest of my meals, minus, minus the egg whites uh, at breakfast, the rest of my meals are all fish. So... Um, he took out the tilapia which I don't really care for tilapia anyway I'll eat it you know if I have to I mean I'll eat it whatever but um, if you
can have if you if you find it swai is a much tastier fish and um, at my local Walmart I can buy it uh, filleted and frozen individually that come in um, a four ounce package uh, per fillet and one, about one and a quarter of the fillets get me the 120 grams that I need um, anyway so I throw them on a cookie sheet on a piece of foil and put the oven on broil and I let those suckers cook and I salt and pepper the heck out of them that kind of gives it a real nice crust but with swai they don't get you know how like they get mushy the fish gets mushy and uh, I can't do that it gets slimy and stuff like I've got to have I need a flaky fish and swai really is s-w-a-i is swai um, it really is a really good fish and it's flaky and it stays flaky and um, I think there's 70 calories per four ounce filet I mean there's nothing nothing to it of course no fat it's just a really lean white fish it's good um, with salt and pepper and then you could also put garlic salt or like lemon pepper or whatever whatever floats your boat uh, salt and pepper does it for me and I'm fine and then I'll cut up a cucumber and then you know do my spinach and all that and I'll have that together but uh, anyway so that's the majority of my meals right now are swai and I do have another check-in tomorrow which is Wednesday and we'll see what's gonna happen with that I just pray to God he doesn't take anything else away I don't know what he would unless he just lowers my oats I, I don't know I mean there's not much left really <laughs> Anyway, we got uh, just we're we're doing it, and I'm not. Uh, I figured by now that I would be just my cravings would be ridiculous, and I would be really tortured by all the food and stuff. But I tend to stay home uh, just to stay away from other people eating because it does. I mean, it's hard to watch other people eat, especially sweets right now. Um, I mean, I say that, but as we speak, I've got two giant wedding cakes that I'm having to do and then two grooms cakes also. So I've got about 25 pounds of icing in my house right now. And then so much cake, you would not even understand. Um, but having to watch people eat like cookies, cake pie and stuff like that it's really it's it's still not easy at all and it hurts my feelings even a little I don't know how to say that uh, properly I don't, I don't know it just kind of hurts it's definitely an emotional deal with sweets and me and um, so anyway but we're just plugging along doing the thing and I got uh, back in today back in triceps push and pull uh, in today and then um, did my cardio I did not do fasted cardio today it was just had had it but I did do it after uh, my workout and then I will have my jog tonight so we'll get three more miles in tonight and then we got check in tomorrow so anyway, you guys have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.